Hello, my name is Gary Talbot and welcome to the TNT Teaching and Learning YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you an activity you can use as either a, a starter or a plenary uh, in your lesson to assess uh, what your pupils have understood. So you could use it to assess uh, previous learning from the last few lessons or a week ago, or you could use it uh, in the middle of your lesson to assess uh, what you've just taught in terms of a concept or an idea or you could use it at the end of a lesson so it's up to you uh, whenever you use it and it's something called do it yourself will you so what you do is you get pupils to write a question uh, on a piece of paper with an answer uh, get them to do it anonymously they can put the names on if they want but it probably works better anonymously they then screw up the piece of paper into a ball and then they throw it into a box a bin uh, just a, something what you could put um, paper balls in. Sometimes they like the, the thought of just trying to throw it to try and get it in, uh, but it can be come a little bit um, crazy sometimes. So you just got to make sure you uh, you know, control it as best you can. Once you've collected all the pieces of paper, then what you do is choose uh, one of the questions, and every all the rest of the class will have then have whiteboards which you will give out, and you ask pupils to answer that question. And you will also have the pupils answer on there. What you will do is then um, say whether that's correct or, or wrong um, based on the answer which you have on your piece of paper. If you know that that answer is wrong, you could then probe pupils uh, and say, you know, why is this answer wrong? What should it be? And you can go around and question. I think where the anonymous limit comes in, uh, obviously, if the student has written that question, um, and they've got the wrong answer, they may feel a little bit embarrassed. Um, so if it's anonymous, then nobody knows who's written that question. Um, so they won't feel um, that embarrassed if they've actually got the answer wrong. So it's a good way, a fun way of getting pupils to make up their own questions and to get the rest of the class uh, answering those questions. So a little bit of a recall, a retrieval practice sort of uh, activity. If you like this video, please click the like button below. Um, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for uh, more updates and future videos. Thank you very much. See you later.